Venous skin ulcers are very, very common in varicose veins. In fact, like I said earlier, 85% of venous, 85% of leg ulcers are because of varicose veins. So, venous skin ulcer symptoms are that you know, one fine day a person wakes up and he sees an ulcer in the leg. The ulcers are usually around the ankle area. They are not on the under surface of the foot. Usually, it's on the dorsum or the upper surface of the foot or around the ankle. The skin around that is very, very black. It usually is weeping. Usually, has fluid coming out of it. It's very, very painful and there's some infection around it. This is a classic presentation of a venous skin ulcer. Venous skin ulcers are very painful, they're very problematic and they take forever to heal. Now, the ideal treatment for this would be to actually bandage these ulcers, but when you bandage it, you should also make sure there's a proper flow to the ulcer and therefore we usually advise a laser as well, where you just put a needle, put a wire and you shut the vein so the blood stops coming and jamming up in the legs. And then once that happens, we need to put a proper uh, bandages so that this ulcer heals. Remember, the doctor who is looking after your varicose veins should be the person who is doing your venous ulcer. He cannot say that I will do varicose veins and this ulcer needs to be treated by a plastic surgeon and that guy says something else is something else. This way no one person takes responsibility for your venous ulcer. You should be having one person responsible. At Davis hospitals we treat about 85 to 90 venous ulcers a month which amounts to almost 1000 venous ulcers. We have one of the highest venous ulcer healing rates which is about 96%. And we have a full-fledged wound care clinic in our hospital which helps us treat better. We take a photograph every time. We make sure they all go into common software. There's an algorithm that tells us if the ulcer is healing or not. And we use a lot of technology here and a lot of modern practices to heal venous ulcers. So this is a very important thing. Please make sure that your doctor, whoever is treating your varicose veins, gives you a, some sense of guarantee about the healing of the venous ulcer or else it's a pointless exercise.